welcome back to Food Prep Guide. I am preserving all of the blueberry things this weekend. If I look hot and sweaty and tired and covered in blueberry stuff, that's because I am. <laughs> but I love it. We are preserving blueberry butter in this video. And what we need to start with is blueberry pulp that's left over from some other blueberry project. This could be blueberry jelly or um, a blueberry syrup, which is like what I just got this pulp from. Um, so we need to start out with blueberry pulp. And what we're gonna do is run that through our food processor until it's nice and smooth. By the way, if you would like help building your food storage, scroll down to the description box of this video and click this link for our free one year food storage plan. We calculated a year supply of food for one person, then broke that data down into a week by week list of items to build your pantry on a budget. We'll send it straight to your inbox. If you're new here, we invite you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss all of our upcoming food preservation, pantry storage, and gardening tutorials. Now back to the kitchen. Okay, now it's time to put this into a pot along with our other ingredients. So we need five and a half cups of blueberry pulp, nice and pureed through our food processor. To that, we will add three cups of sugar. To that, we will add one tablespoon of fresh lemon zest. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And the recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I don't have straight nutmeg, but I do have pumpkin pie spice, which has nutmeg and cinnamon in it, which I think will be delicious. So I'm doing a quarter teaspoon of this pumpkin pie spice. But if you have just nutmeg, you can do just nutmeg. Now we're just gonna bring this to a boil and we'll move on to the next step. Now that this is boiling, we're going to lower it to a simmer and slow cook it for one hour. We'll need to come and stir it every few minutes. Our blueberry butter is about 10 to 15 minutes away from being ready to can, so we're gonna go ahead and prepare our canner. I have filled my canner up halfway with water. I put it in my basket, I've turned it on medium heat, and I've got my jars in there warming up. Those are clean jars, and now they're getting in the process of becoming warm jars. Uh, we're going to be using this blueberry butter mostly for spreading on biscuits and toast and things like that. So we don't need a large portion of it open at any given time. So I'm going to be canning in quarter pint jars, but you can certainly do this in half pint jars as well. Our butter is done cooking, so now we're going to ladle it into our jars. And we're going to fill our jars to a quarter inch headspace. A quarter inch headspace is approximately right here where my top finger is. Next, we need to debubble. bubble 
Next, we need to wipe our rims, get them nice and clean so that our lids can get a good solid seal. Next step is to put on new and clean lids. And then we need to screw on our rings to fingertip tight. And into the canner they go. I'm going to double check and make sure that I have at least an inch of submersion, and I do. So we're good to go on that. I'm going to put the lid on, put my canner up to high, and we're going to wait until this comes to a hard rolling boil before we start our processing time. These need to process for 10 minutes. Be sure to adjust for your elevation. Our processing time is up, and here is our blueberry butter delicious on toast or a biscuit. This is going to be something that I will bring out when we do a breakfast for supper night as just an extra special treat on some toast or a biscuit. We have a whole video on what to do after we, you pull your jars out of the canner and I will link that above. Hope you all enjoy and we'll see you next time. Bye.